I see no hear no evil. Black writings on the wall. Unleashed a million faces. And one by one they fall. Black hearted evil. Bray hearted hero. I am all I am all I am. Oh, I am recording. Hi, everybody. Uh, more figure stuff here from Xander. We're opening up the shadow figure from Sonic 3. Why? Because we open up Sonic, and, uh, oh, I already see some, I already see he's tied in here. He is, uh, from the first wave as well. Only one I'm missing from this is Tails, like I said in the Sonic video, which I will be able to find Tails pretty easily, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Yeah, let's pop Shadow open, let's see how he compares with Sonic. Now, I've gushed about this already in the Sonic video, and, uh, spoilers for tomorrow, Knuckles is the next, uh, Sonic 3's Knuckles figure is the next one I'm opening up, and, uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be gushing about how much I'm excited for this movie for the next seven, for the next two days, because I am opening Sonic 3 figures, and as soon as I find Super Sonic, and as soon as I find Tails, and if they put out Super Shadow and Gerald before the movie comes out, well, it's game over for all of you, because you're never gonna hear the end of how excited I am. Now, if you remember in the Mephilus video, I couldn't find scissors. I have found scissors. These are my wife's scissors. We each bought a pair that looked identical, and somehow hers, which are older, uh, ended up in my office, but it's fine. They still work for their intended purpose sometimes. So let's free him. He's been in captivity for, you know, 50 years, as they say. But man, Sonic 3 just looks like it's going to be the ultimate fan service movie, doesn't it? Like, we got Keanu as Shadow, we got Idris Elba back as Knuckles. Who both, like, Idris Elba gives just such a good performance as Knuckles. I actually really liked the Knuckles show on Paramount. I watched it all one night while I was uh, cleaning. Last time I cleaned my room, funny enough, I watched it all in one go. And I really liked it. It was a great show. Uh, noise warning in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Shadow has been freed. He's been liberated. We got him out of that box. Oh man, look at him. He's so cool. This was uh this was the figure that turned me around on buying the movie figures, actually. I got movie Eggman because I wanted movie Eggman because Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors. Um but Shadow is my favorite character. I yep, I am basic and edgy, because of course I am. And so I bought this. I, for a little, little story here, a little story time, that's kind of what these are more than anything, is Xander opens figures up, talks about them for a minute, and then tells a story that kind of goes with the figure, or why I bought it, because this guy is really cool, this is really cool, I, a couple of, about a year and a half ago now, moved with my wife right before we got married, we moved about three hours away from the town we grew up in together, and it was because she got a new job, and the job paid enough for us to move, and so we moved, and I go back home, and I visit my family, usually every couple months, I go stay for a weekend, just to see my family, uh, especially around the holidays, where we have now been three times in the last month, and Christmas is coming up, so we'll be going again, but did, Ch did Sonic have this kind of head motion? No, no, uh, kind of. Let's see that. All right, Shadow's a little taller than Sonic, it looks like, which is pretty accurate to the movies, or to the games and stuff. But, let's get Sonic back out of the way here. But yeah, and so, originally I was just gonna buy Eggman, because I love Jim Carrey, and I wanted the Jim Carrey Eggman. But, like, these guys are bigger than the, the normal Jax figures that I collect. They're bigger, they're pricier and all of that. And I was like, eh. They're fine. I don't really care if I get these one way or the other. And then one morning, one fateful Friday morning, or no, one fateful Monday morning, I was making that three-hour drive because I had the day off work and I was going back to my hometown for something. Had to go pick something up and drop some things off and didn't feel like doing it through the mail. It felt like just going and seeing my family. And on the way back into my hometown, there is a Walmart. I decided to stop there, and they had just Shadow on the shelf. They only had one of these guys. One Shadow was all they had. I saw it, and I thought, well, I can afford it. 
Let's do it. And I thought, ah, I'll probably just get Shadow and Eggman. That'll be fine. I don't really need all of them. Shadow's my favorite character, so I'll just get Shadow. And, well, we see how well that's gone for me. But, yeah, I picked this guy up at a Walmart, like, a month and some change ago. And I've just been waiting to open him for the right time. I've had him this whole time. He's finally free of his box. Uh, he's going to sit here with Sonic when I do the Knuckles video tomorrow. Because I don't... Um, I don't know where to put these guys yet, because I've got a modern Sonic shelf, I've got a classic Sonic shelf, I've got a Sonic villain shelf, which this guy could hypothetically go on, assuming he doesn't become a good guy at the end of the movie like Knuckles did in Sonic 2. Um, he could hypothetically go on the villain shelf, but that doesn't leave anywhere for movie Sonic to go. I don't want to get the Mario movie, like, I, I know people might ask if you ever get the Mario movie figures uh, if you like Mario and Sonic both. Probably not. I don't really like the design of the Mario movie figures, and I don't really have a need for them. I've, I've figured out something that'll at least make these guys usable in stop-motion videos. I've got ideas. But yeah, there you go. There's Movie Shadow. I'll find a place on the shelf for him. Let's kind of find a cool way to pose him here. Let's see. How's the... How's the Adventure 2 pose go? Adventure 2 is, like, my favorite game of all time, so I should know this. Let's see... It's like, it's like Sonic Adventure 2, I'm literally just looking it up right now. But I do love that they keep hitting the pose. Alright, here we go. So the pose actually has shadow this way. Body straight forward, this arm kind of this let's see i'm just gonna this is gonna be how i end the video because of course it is because i like i said adventure 2 is my favorite game of all time so the fact that they're pretty much doing like a movie adaptation of adventure 2 is so wild to me it is a dream come true all right his body needs to be facing this way just a little more all right that's shadow posed and then sonic is kind of hand back like this if I can find a way to pose these guys like this I might then open up his hand because this hand is completely open in the image oh yeah look at that there we go that's the pose right there if I had a way to pose them like this and keep them like it I would but there you go Movie Sonic and Movie Shadow have been unboxed and posed in the Adventure 2 Live and Learn pose. Sega, uh, Paramount, you have one opportunity to put Live and Learn in the movie. Do it, cowards. Just love Sonic Adventure 2. All right, cool. I, I'll stop gushing about the movie for a few minutes, and then you can tune in tomorrow to see me do it again with Knuckles. These guys will just kind of... These guys will just kind of sit in the background, ready to fight for now. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll open up Knuckles tomorrow, and then we'll finally be done with the movie figures until I find Tails, inevitably, and Super Sonic. But, alright, I've been Xander. That was a figure review. Follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. See you guys next time.